got to find shelter. Hello again, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, we need to find a place for Lara to take shelter because she is... Well, you can see she's shivering. It's very cold here. Uh, and wow, she's in some deep snow. Let's try to trudge forward here and um, see if we can't find uh, maybe a cave or something um, to take shelter in. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a cave. Shivering. <laughs> Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving, Laura. Keep moving. Ooh, that is some deep Come snow. On. Whoa. You can do this. Man, that is really well done. I mean, it really does look like she's walking in deep snow. What's that noise? An old camp. An old camp. How convenient. Yes. Oh, oh okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Get up, Laura. Keep moving. Okay. Hmm. Gather resources to build a fire and shelter. Okay. Press A to highlight important objects. Well, some stuff over there. I guess there's three items over here that's important to us. Let's go over here and pick them up. We got like a sapling here, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it'd be a very good thing to burn. Alright. Yeah, I'll collect it. Okay. Okay. That's my work. Alright. Gather resources, okay. Not enough to last the night. Yeah, we need a little bit more, so let's go ahead and get this more. one. Yeah, let's gather some more. Good idea, Lara. Good idea. All right. Yeah, there you go. Oh man, don't impale yourself, jeez. Dry enough to burn. I hope. Yeah, I hope so too, for your sake. Whoops. And right over here. Ooh, look at this. Crafting resources. Harvest plants and skin Fresh animals to craft kill. objects. No meat, but maybe something else I can use. Okay. Let's um, skin it. Oh. oh there's like a hunting blind down there. Return to camp and build a fire. I'm on it. Come on, Lara. Let's go. Move! Move, Laura! Move! Move, Laura! <laughs> oh, look at that little thing she built. Weapon upgrades. Okay, she's gonna need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. All right. Alternative outfits. Change Laura's attire to best suit her adventure. Multiple outfits are available and are unlocked by progressing through the game and completing certain missions. Some outfits give gameplay benefits when worn. Switch outfits at base camps by accessing the clothing category in the weapons menu. 
bows. Well, makeshift longbow. It's 0% complete. Bare bones bow crafted from sticks. Simple yet dependable. Uh, upgrades are available. Let's uh, click on this thing that's flashing here. Oh, okay, it doesn't do anything. Okay, I clicked on that. Uh, let's see here. Um, whoa, what, what did I just do? Okay, so I guess moving my cursor over these things over here. So I could do reinforced limbs, or is this telling me this is already equipped? Is that what it's telling me? No, it's telling me... What is it? I'm not sure what's going on. It says equipped here. I guess that means we have it equipped. Whoa. What the? Oh, oh, okay. Well, I just did something. I guess I uh, reinforced the, limb, the limbs. Stronger limbs allow for increased string tension and faster arrow speeds for more damage. Applied to all bows. Okay. Okay, I can't do... I thought it said gift wrap. Can't do grip wrap or wrapped string or string knocks or wax string. Okay. So now we're 20% complete of our makeshift longbow. Okay. Clothing. Outfits. Weapon switching. Switch between multiple weapons of the same type using the weapons menu. Each weapon has unique stats and upgrades that provide a distinct combat feel. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got Expedition Jacket. Modern insulated winter coat in a red and black palette. Perfect for mountain climbing and other extreme conditions. We have a whiteout jacket. Modern insulated winter coat. In all white palette, light coloring helps keep cool and blend into snowy surroundings. Blue Henley, blue long sleeve thermal shirt, a loose weave retains heat but allows for breathability. And finally, the leather jacket, gray hooded sweatshirt under a dark leather jacket, casual clothing for a simpler life. Can I put this on now? Yeah, I can. Probably pretty stupid to do that, right? She's kind of looking at me like, uh, dude, what the hell? this on. Oh, okay. Yeah, she looks nice and warm, right? And then we have this. Okay. And then, I guess this is the warmest. I'm not really seeing any stats for these things, but uh, just from the description, I'm going to guess that this one is the warmest. Okay. Um, weapons. Axes. All right. Fast travel. Fast travel between base camps to explore previously visited areas and collect unfound rewards. Really? Can I go back to where we were just a moment ago? That place that we flooded and blew up and get the uh, remaining pieces? Can I do that? Weapons. What other weapons do I have? Okay, so that just takes me back to this. Is that what I'm using as my weapon now? So, like, if I click this, now I'm using the bow? I'm not 100% sure. And then inventory, ammunition, and equipment. I guess the game will tell us how to do that when the time comes. And then skills. We have one skill points available. Brawler, hunter, survival, survivor. Hmm. Interesting. Hand-to-hand -hand combat and healing abilities. So we can spend a skill point on any one of these things. I guess these... No, it says... Oh, okay. I need the dodge counter skill to unlock that one. Okay. So I could be thick-skinned. I could be... I could get iron hide, dodge counter, and efficient killer. We go over here to hunter. Arrow retrieval. Hmm. Gain a chance at recovering arrows when looting enemies could with a bow. Breath control. Scavenger. And animal instincts. And then finally, survivor. Rapid crafting. Resourceful combatant. Alright. Well, that's, there's a lot of stuff we could do. Huh. Uh, what do I want to spend my point on? Eye for detail. Find challenge objects more easily using survival instincts. Avid learner. Earn bonus experience points from survival caches, documents, relics, and challenges. Hmm. That might be a good one to get the, early in the game. So we level up quicker. 
Lightfoot, land safely without damage from substantial heights. Incendiary bombs, craft explosive bombs from red gas cans and deadly proximity mines from enemy radios. Resourceful combatant, enemies killed or knocked out from crafted handheld objects yield more XP. Hmm. Eh. And then this one, faster crafting of throwable objects and ammo one on the run. I'm going to do this one and no, this one and hope that it helps us uh, level up quicker. Get skill points quicker. That's my plan. So I'm curious about this fast travel. All zero destinations available. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to guess that we can't go back to that starting area, which kind of sucks because I wanted to go back there. <laughs> um, oh, Syria. Uh, I can't fast travel to Syria. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh well. So much for 100% completion. Back. Alright. Echoes of the past. Explore the forest for signs of the lost city. Did it say documents unlocked? I missed that. What did we do? Uh. What's going on here? Documents. Journal of Lord Croft. The reason. My father's journals. He mentions my mother. He rarely talked about her, but it seems he did all this for her. Oh my. I received word today that university funding would be cut again. It's becoming increasingly difficult to continue. I face constant ridicule from people I once considered colleagues and friends. They have no idea. There is a truth behind all myth. The stories of all cultures speak a universal language, and they point to a startling possibility. The world is not what we think. Our lives are not what we think. If I continue, I face isolation. I will become a pariah. But I will continue. For Amelia. It was her death that set me on this path, and for her, I cannot waver. I wish every night that she was still here, that I'd had the tools to help her. Hmm. My father's journals. He mentions my mother. He rarely talked about her. But it seems he did all this for her. Okay. Regrets. Lara has accused me of paranoia again. Perhaps she's right. But I've been approached by people asking to see my research. People offering no credentials. I'm sure someone is watching me. Strangers outside the manor house, odd phone calls at odd hours, and then last night, the house alarm was tripped. Someone had tried to break in. I believe they represent an organization called Trinity. There are oblique references to them in much of my work, but what they're after, I do not know. I've begun taking steps to ensure my work remains secure. One day, I hope Lara will understand why I did all this. Laura says, Dad, I'm so sorry I didn't believe you. I wish there was some way to tell you what I've discovered. Uh, let's see. Here's one called Invitation. Received an invite today to speak at a conference on folklore and anthropology. Of course, I've only been invited as a figure of fun. They only want to ridicule me and my ideas. But the point of this work is not to keep it in the shadows. The point is to expose it. To help bring the truth to the world. Amelia believed that it was noble to face adversity head on. That strength was born from inside oneself. She was right. She was always right. For better or worse, I will accept the invitation. Laura says, I remember this. Dad was buzzing with anticipation about this conference, even though he knew he'd be mocked. By the way, doesn't this look like a little face? <laughs> you got some eyes, and then you got the little nose, and then you got the mouth there. It's like a little face. A meeting. The conference was, of course, a disaster. I might as well have been booed from the podium. And yet, I am in the best mood I've been in years. I met someone there. An admirer. She approached me after the slaughter. I nearly flinched, expecting her to continue the beating. 
but instead she simply asked to hear more about my work, and when I started to talk, her questions were not loaded with cynicism. Instead, they were intelligent, almost innocent in their inquisitiveness. We spoke for hours. She says her name is Anna. I've invited her to dine with me when we're all back in London. Anna made him happy again. She believed in his work. If only she knew I was out here in the middle of nowhere chasing the same thing. Ah, so Anna doesn't know that she's here. Collaborator. Having Anna in my life has put new wind in my sails. She's helped me focus my work, helped organize my research. She's even offered to become my editor. I never thought I'd find such an eager collaborator. Her presence in the manor has revitalized everything. The rooms have life again. I feel I have life again. But I am worried what Lara will think. Her emotions are more guarded than mine. I worry she thinks I'm trying to replace her mother. But I'm not. I'm simply trying to find what happiness I can in this life. Lara will just have to understand that. Those were hard times for Dad. But Anna brought so much happiness into his life. I couldn't resent her for that. Revelations. New developments. I found an old manuscript buried and forgotten under a heap of pseudo-scientific texts. As I began translating it, I realized what I had. A record of the deathless prophet. I'm still working on the translation, but already it has provided details of his life I'd never read before. There may just be enough here to find the location of his tomb. This manuscript could be it, the singular piece of research that will bring all of my work on the immortal soul together. Revelations are coming quickly. There is much work to be done. Tonight over dinner, I'm going to celebrate with Anna. Dad was so close to finding the prophet's tomb, but something drove him to give it all up. Hmm, I wonder what happened to him. Did he just die of natural causes? Suspicious causes? Was he murdered? Did he? Is he still alive? And he just disappeared. I do not know. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure we've already listened to these. Yeah, we already heard these. Here's a camp journal. Familiar pain. It wants me to just lie down and die, but I won't. I think this is the one she said when we got here. I wish here. this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I... I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. Okay. Journey. Steward of the land. Okay, so. When the drought of a thousand days choked the land, the prophet led his people to the waters of life. Okay, so these are the murals that we saw before. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got some relics here. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Uh, oh, I guess this is the one that I didn't get. Great. And resources. Okay. Explore the forest for signs of the lost city. That's right. Hmm. There's something back here. Kill and skin animals to get resources for crafting equipment and outfits. Okay. But, um... Alright. What is with this, um... What's with this thing up here? Why is this highlighted? Do I do I want it for some reason? Press left mouse while aiming to shoot silent arrows. Hold left mouse to charge a shot for extra damage. Well, I guess let's knock this thing down. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Well, I couldn't shoot that down. I don't know why that's highlighted. And there's something up there. Don't know what it is. Actually, what's our challenge here? 
challenges. What's our challenge? Can I? Oh, missions and challenges. Grab and go. I'm supposed to. Zero of three corpses looted, it says. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. This thing tells me where there's some stuff. If I could look at the map here. So, well, current objective. Hmm. All right. Base camp. Lara. Huh. Well, I do not know why this thing is um, showing up like that. I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe at some point it'll make some sense to us. Here is a tree. I'm going to collect some wood, I guess. Use hardwood to upgrade weapons at camps and craft arrows. Okay. Can we climb up this? Whoa, that would be a long way up. Huh, I thought she could... Uh, Kind of do a double jump kind of thing, but she's not doing it here. All right, so that's the end of that path. Huh. Yeah, I really wonder what that's all about. I wasted an arrow on it. Kind of sucks. Boy, it's all kinds of stuff around here. We got us a tree here. And, um, what's this all about? Um, what do I do with this? Do I shoot it down or something? Okay, I knocked it off. Oh, I got some feathers. Use feathers to upgrade weapons and craft arrows. Cool. Okay. Oh, we got us a tree here. Um, huh. Which I can't seem to do anything with. Uh, what do I do with this stuff here? Um, oh, okay. There we go. Neat. Oh, damn. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look. Missed. Oh, did I get it? I don't know if I got it or not. Oh, she can only hold it for so long. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. 